hello friends welcome back to laravel 9 tutorial so today we have an interesting video we will uh, discuss about how to connect a database with laravel right so let's create a database first suppose localhost php my admin we will connect my sql and this is my database and let's create a database suppose uh, let's create database database name is lara9 okay and just create this so database is created now i need to uh, connect this database with my laravel application so we need to check some files so if i just uh, go to the dot env file you can see there is lots of things this is the all the environment variable and you can see this part only right so for now this part is enough and we can see database connection this is a db connection it is a mysql and db host name by default it is provided db port and db database db username db password so all our environment variable and it's used to connect with mysql database as we are passing this mysql so how actually it will connect now if i just go inside some core concept so just go to the config folder inside this config folder will get database.php so here you can see the default connection is mysql as we can see in the environment we have a mysql if you want to pass defined things suppose if i want to connect with defined database suppose sqlite or pgsql anything so simply pass these things and accordingly you can configure so for now my database name is lara9 so simply just configure the database that is lara9 and my username is root and password a b c d one two three at that this is my password actually these are environment variable and that are using to connect with database so simply these things are using here so driver is mysql we are using same environment variable to get access of environment variable simply we can use env inside this we are using variable so this uh, database port database name database username password so we'll pass these things and actually these are using from here okay so database connection is ready now how we can know this this database connection is ready or not simply uh, let's create a table so i will create table manually for today's video and next day we will discuss about the model concept and then we create database dynamically table dynamically or uh, the table column will be all appear with dynamically right for today we are creating database manually so simply write student so my table name is student and let's there is four columns suppose uh, first column id and name and email or simply you can write phone okay and let's add data so simply write int and 10 okay and make it auto increment and also it will be primary and name is bracket 255 hope you will uh, hope you have some basic idea about database and just simply write phone integer type one one okay and make it uh, null by default it will accept null and you can say the phone by default null or you can say defined as defined zero actually this should be null okay no problem on that and now just save this so so table is created and if i check inside the student table we are getting this thing so insert some record also so suppose uh, name is john email is john at the rate email dot com let's add the mobile that is the mobile and another record suppose david and email is david at the rate email dot com and phone is something right so for basic understanding i am just inserting these things and i will fetch this record from our application right so we'll understand our database connection is complete or not so first of all let's create a controller i have a student table and i am going to create a student controller so simply just create another tab and php artisan make controller 
suppose controller name is student controller okay by entering this it will create a student controller so just go inside the app http controller you will get the student controller right and now let's create a function that is public function suppose list and to create a list of student and simply return return view and simply i will create a student blade so simply create student and let's use the database to fetch records so simply write here use to get access of database simply you need to mention that you are using the db and here just uh, write um, student data or simply write students equal to db by db we are using uh, fetching records so simply write table just mention the table name so what is your table name that is the student so simply write student here and to get all the records simply use get sorry get so we'll get all the records in students variable so let's check whether getting or not simply use dd right uh, die and definition by dd you can understand what is inside this variable right so let's call this from the route so just go inside the routes folder so routes web.php and let's call this so use the app list app http controllers and simply use the namespace app http controllers and then the name of the controller that is student controller is the class name and simply call the functions from the student controller create a route so let's write route get and i want to create a link like students or anything so i want a link like list okay or even simply write student list and let's call the controller student controller class and the methods name so here is my method name is list okay so just simply use this and if you just go here you can see all the data is appearing in the students variable as we are using these students that is the dd students we can print all those things so simply just go to this link so we are getting two items right so these are the zero one that is the array format this one is john and another is db so basically this record is coming so we have these two records and we are getting here now i need to print this thing from the view file or little organized way right so we are passing these students to the student.blade.php so simply write compact and using compact we can pass the data students i don't need this dd now and let's create a blade file that is student.blade.php so just go inside the resource views and student.blade.php use the html broiler template and write here student list i am not going to uh, make a proper design actually and this is the functionality video and i just uh, going to see how database connection uh, with uh, laravel so i just write student list and i will print that data using the ulli okay so you will open you will close let's use for each loop to print all those things so simply we are getting the students variable here so right here dollar students as student okay and inside here just print the record in this way li and open close li and simply write name name equal to what so we are getting name inside the student name right we are getting inside the name so simply write here name in this way just print other item also so just write email and phone so write email and then phone 
simply copy this email or phone okay so all are done and simply just use some beer okay so it will uh, distinguish the first record and second record okay so all are done and let's see what appearing so just here you can see student list and the name is john john at the gmail.com and the phone number this is for first record and this is for second record okay so in this way we can connect a laravel application with mysql database and you can see how database is using to fetch record right so you are using the db to fetch a record so to get you are using the get to insert we have insert functions we have update delete other functions so we'll discuss later with the model right so next day we are going to discuss about the uh, laravel model we'll discuss how model is actually connecting with controllers and spews and still if you have any questions about this video please comment in the below comment section and thanks for watching this video have a good day